right, we are looking at the stock market, and you were warned it was going to be a rough opening on Wall Street this morning. Uh, stocks actually around the globe have been really taking a hit. The U.S. stock market futures takes a dive over fears of a spike over the global threat of the coronavirus. That's what's behind this, um, down 3.27 percent here, almost 1,000 points. And um, as the numbers tick up on the coronavirus, it looks like the stock market ticks down. So for more on this, let us bring in Melissa Armo. She is the founder and owner of Stock Swoosh. Can you hear me? Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, I'm I'm really happy that you're here. It's always good to talk to you about this stuff. What's the biggest concern for investors at this point? I really honestly think that investors are overreacting a little bit here. Market's been so strong. We've had such a nice run up. And, you know, with this, this reaction, the reaction we've seen today, the reaction we saw Thursday and Friday into the selling is a reaction of companies thinking that they're going to have a bad first quarter. But first quarter isn't even over yet. Hmm. First quarter, one, isn't over. And two, companies haven't reported their first quarter earnings. So this is a complete overreaction to me. And I wouldn't be surprised if we rally today hmm. or if we rally tomorrow. Because people have not been in this market. Some people miss the run-up. And they're going to jump back in pretty quickly if they see uh, an opportunity. Uh, Melissa, you're always such a level head when it comes to this sort of stuff. But I got to ask you, you know, it, the coronavirus has certainly had a, a severe impact on the economy in China. Um, there are whole industries that have been shut down for weeks. I just read something about how it might be tough to get your wedding dress because the majority of Western style wedding dresses are made in China. Um, and. I think the concern is that there'll be sort of a spillover. Could other parts of the global economy be affected? Yes, but I don't think it's going to be every every sector. So in other words, what you're talking about right now, we have retail earnings out this week. It could affect certain sectors. It's definitely affected airlines. People don't want to travel when they're worried about this virus. People are canceling trips. We've seen it affect the the, the cruise lines as well. So there might be certain sectors, like you're specifically talking about wedding dresses, clothing, but I don't think it's going to be every sector in the market. In other words, you have a company like Amazon, you have a company like Google, you have companies like Facebook. Not all of those companies are going to be affected by what's happening right now with this virus. Okay, so then if people are just sort of overreacting, investors just a little too emotional here, could their emotions, you know, sort of run away with them? I mean, Could there be fears of uh, sort of a broader economic recession as a result of this? I think people were talking about a recession like maybe two years ago when Mm. the market kept running up. Then the market kept making new highs. Then they were talking about it when the market sold up in December. I don't know if you remember December 2018. And I said, no, no, we're going to hold. Then we had a huge bullish year in 2019. People are always trying to predict the next downturn, the next recession. But ultimately, when you look at the economy right now, Stocks are still very strong, even if we drop off, and I hate to say the word pullback, but even if we sell off two, three days down, even if we sell it for a week, the trend in the market is still strong. So I think individuals and investors have to look at their time horizon. If you are someone that you're in the market for your retirement accounts and you're and you're not even over 55 or you're around 60, you've got plenty of time for this market to swing around again and make new highs and continue climbing. If you're in retirement age right now and you're concerned because you're living off of uh, your retirement funds, well, then that's an, that's a meeting that you have to have with your financial consultant to see if you want to start to get out of this. But I would have had that already at the end of last year because we had such big gains in 2019 that if people were in that retirement age, they should have been consulting with their financial people to determine if they should be taking profits at some point. Mm -hmm. Today is profit taking in the market. The markets are running up. So while you can say this looks like panicky selling, this isn't isn't the end of the world. If it was, I would tell you, but I don't see that right here. I know a lot of people are thinking the Dow is going to fall all the way down to um, 27,000. But we're, you know, we're trying to hold that 28,000 number right now as we speak, which is around where we open. Even if we sold all the way down to 27,000 today or in the next five days, I still think the market's going to get bought probably right around that area. And we got very close to Dow 30,000. And I I don't know if we get to Dow 30,000 this year, but I don't think that this is the end of the market uptrend. And you have to look at your individual investment time horizon. That's the most important thing. And if you're a young person... Um, you know, if you're 30, 35, 42, I say, you know what, maybe you need to get with somebody and start to invest in the market here. This wouldn't be a bad place. Then. So there you heard it from Melissa. Everyone calm down. Don't bother checking your 401k and stressing yourself out. You'll be just fine. Melissa, thank you so much.
Thanks. Have a good day. <laughs>